Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. As great as the Steam Deck is and its virtual soft keyboard, sometimes you need a keyboard and mouse on your Steam Deck. Some of us have wired ones hooked up to our dock. Some of us are using Bluetooth ones so that we can sit on the couch while we control our Steam Deck. I'm gonna give you another alternative today. How about using your phone? Stick around. Okay, so we're going to start off by downloading Blue Touch Keyboard and Mouse from the Android Google Play Store. Obviously, this is an Android tutorial if you have iOS. This may give you some ideas on how to try it out for yourself on your device, but this is for Android. So we're gonna go ahead and install. We will allow it to have access to Bluetooth in order to uh, do its job. If you deny any of these permissions, you're likely to have problems. I did say uh, while using the app for location services. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Steam Deck in gaming mode, go to settings and Bluetooth. We're gonna make sure that it's on and available to pair. Then we're gonna turn on discovery on Blue Touch. If you don't see your device as it's noted, make sure you have show all devices turned on. We're gonna go ahead and pair up to there. And there we go. Does it work? Yes, it does. Look at this, I'm controlling the mouse with my phone. That's awesome. Okay, so we hit it works. And we're now ready to jump over to desktop mode because frankly, desktop mode needs a little more setup. Works great in gaming mode, but you'll find out that as soon as we flip over to desktop mode, unfortunately, we are going to be without our Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. So we'll need to go into Bluetooth. So we're gonna hit the little settings icon next to the quote start button in the bottom left corner. We're gonna head over to Bluetooth and we're going to enable it. Now we're gonna go ahead and do discovery mode again on the app and we will then be able to see that there is an available connection here in our Bluetooth connections. And it's going to ask us if the pin number that appears on our phone is correct. We're gonna say it's correct. And there we go. Now it's connected over here. So let's see if the mouse works well with the phone. And it does, great. So you may wanna go into the configure area and set Bluetooth to always come on when you enter desktop mode, because it doesn't do it by default. I'm pretty sure that instead it sets it to whatever it was last time, right? Restore previous state. I'm gonna make sure that I have it enabled all the time so that if I flip back and forth between gaming mode and desktop mode, that I always have access through my phone. Well, this is great. Let's give this a try in something that's notoriously a pain in the butt. Now, you know, in some cases, depending on if you're in desktop mode, if you're in gaming mode, sometimes the keyboard won't come up. Sometimes the keyboard will come up, but it won't type in the fields. You know what I'm talking about. Every single one of us have been in this position. Fortunately, having a real mouse and a keyboard can oftentimes circumvent problems that Steam's keyboard has. So as you can see, I can type in my information over here in non-real time, and it's all in plain text, so it's kind of easy to see what you're typing for a change, and then hit the send button, and it sends it right over as a macro almost. You can also type in standard as well if you'd like to, but I like the idea of being able to see what I'm gonna type and then send it over. Now, I don't want you to see my password. Remember, I said it is in plain text after all. So I'm gonna do it over uh, off camera and then I'm going to hit the send button and send my password right on over to the Steam Deck. And there it goes. Perfect. And now I've actually signed into EA and I never once had to use the built-in keyboard. Fantastic. Well, this works really great. I mean, uh, there you go, when we have a working EA. So this would be great if you're sitting on the couch. This would be great if you're, well, listen, it can be great if you're doing my tutorials. A lot of my tutorials really want you to have a mouse and keyboard, and it's definitely easier if you have these things available. But there's other things you can do here. We have more stuff to look at. First off, it uses the system keyboard on your phone, or you can actually use 
the built-in custom keyboard, which gives you access to all sorts of other stuff that maybe the standard system keyboard wouldn't give you. And this could range from all sorts of things that we use every day. So let's go over to dark mode. This is what dark mode looks like. And you can see we have different keyboards. We have ABCs, we have one, two, threes, we have functions, we have arrow buttons, we have volume controls and even sleep mode. And yes, the volume controls actually work and so does the sleep mode. Of course, once you go to sleep, there's no way to get it back on. So as great as it is, it does have some limitations. The other thing that this thing has is something called shortcuts where you can actually make special shortcuts. That's when the money grab starts. So for creating custom keyboards, it's gonna cost you a buck and that's okay. For me, if you don't need custom shortcuts, don't pay the buck, you know? But I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you in a minute right now why you might want custom shortcuts. Shift F2 for Ubisoft Connect, Control 1 and Control 2 for the Steam button and the three dot button. There's a whole bunch of key combinations that makes a lot of sense to pay the buck to be able to send those sorts of keystrokes over to your deck easily and quickly. Very, very, very cool. Let's go to settings. Real quick, before we unlock the ads and see all the different things that it can do, you can pause the video to see all of the different options that are available to you. Similar keyboards nickel and dime the crap out of you. This only has two purchases. Here's the second one. Let's get rid of the ads. That's gonna cost us $2.99, so we're in for four bucks. And that is it. So now we have full functionality of the app, as far as I know, anyway. So what do you think? Is this gonna be worth four bucks? Even if you can put up with the ads or you don't need shortcuts and you get it for free, imagine for a minute now, if you don't have a keyboard and mouse, how much time and effort this can save you, especially with those pesky third-party launchers. Listen, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks always so much for watching. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Until next time, take care.